The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 26th, the Terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know that I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question and you can't dial in, Stevie's got your back. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it off to steve at dfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then we'll in any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A very mixed bag out here. Indices, sectors inside the S&P 500. Dow's off 217, S&P's up 18, NASDAQ is up 97, Russell's down 15, Tranny's off 97, Sox down 40 points, NASDAQ Composite's up 107, gold is up 950, $9.50, 26 pennies for silver to the upside, uh, light sweet crude is up 54 cents, natural gas off a penny, 30-year treasury down 18 ticks, a little more than half a point, one, one tick for the 10-year uh, 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 note out there. Leading the charge to the upside, we got Eli Lilly up 43 bucks. IES Holdings, 19, Bank of Montreal, 16, Arista Networks, 14, and Woodward, up 12. To the downside, it's led by Am, uh, Amgen, up 33 bucks, Monolithic Power Systems, 25, MicroStrategy, 22 to the downside, Lennox is off 16, Defiance Daily, I don't know what that is, Title Trust 2, Defiance Daily, um, Asimil Holdings, down 13, Buckaroo News. So we have things to look at, of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Let's begin by looking at uh, some of Stevie's tools out here. New York Stock Exchange, the advanced client oscillator. It was approaching the overbought condition. Didn't get all the way up there. Yesterday's close was at the uh, one, 121 uh, level. You got to get up to the 150 area. Uh, but prices turned down uh, near that 150 area out there. We want to watch that zero threshold line. Condition still bullish, cautiously bullish. But if we take a look at this VIX index out here, we're trading below yesterday's low. Um, and we're actually taking out the bottom of a parabolic SAR dot out there. Our man Garo would be able to tell us exactly what that means out here. But I'll show you what I think it means. It means that the S&P 500 and the ES Mini should further its rally. But we're going to take a look at the intraday charts just simply to make that conversation out here. Uh, if we take a look at how the ES Mini, since we're going to focus on the ES Mini, but really all of them, the ES Mini making new all-time highs today in Chinese won, not in U.S. dollars. We have made a new all-time high in the U.S. Uh, in the ES Mini since uh, trading session of November the 11th out here. We're making a new all-time high today in terms of Great British Pounds. Uh, not uh, We have also made a top in yen uh, back on November 14th, so not a new all-time high there. New all-time high yesterday in terms of euros. So what does all this mean, Stevie? What I will tell you is that the S&P 500 does not top first in um, U.S. dollars and then in the other currencies out there. So the mere fact that we're trading higher in the yuan, that we did so yesterday too in euros, today in Great British Pound, this is a positive for at least the ES, the ES Mini getting up to that all-time high at 60.53 and a quarter. Um, we covered its uh, sell the D point top as well as the top of its profile out there. Um, this has a, 
It's, you, you, the, the profile level at the top is hidden because it's also the all-time high at 60.53 and a quarter. So that's what's going on there. Um, take a look at take a look at the Dow, uh, the uh, a monthly set for the Dow. Now this is well, of course I I drew it, so I think it's a cool chart. I think this chart provides you and I with a ton of information out here. This is a longer term chart, so we're looking at the monthly. We're getting rid of all the daily noise and quite frankly the weekly noise out here. The red uh, vertical lines, uh, horizontal lines that you see out there, those are referred to as uh, as uh, horizontal trading range lines. Uh, they are uh, a uh, 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 the concept really came from Bud Rolfs. He referred to them as primary trading ranges. At that time, there was really no software to help identify what it was that he was doing. It was all visual. Uh, Stevie likes to be a little bit more precise if we can. And so we automated this tool. And this tool, once you identify the largest number of openings and closes, uh, then you've got that same distance that travels for each of these. So it's very cool. It helps us to identify, especially when you're at all-time highs. You're trying to figure out where is it that price may be headed to. Well, in this case here, if we take a look at the March 2020 lows out there, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That has an initial price projection up at the 47,399. You can see that the Dow on a monthly basis is trading above one of those horizontal trading range lines. 43043. What does this tell us? This tells us that price should go target the next horizontal trading range line that's up at the 46641. So we've got 46641 to 47399. I haven't even given you the good stuff yet. What do you mean, Stevie? Well, take a look at that retracement, a 44% retracement um, uh, on this current A to B equals CD. When you do less than a 0.618 retracement, it increases the odds that you're going to do more than a one-to-one. -one. Well, more than a one-to-one -one would take us up to 52,496. I'm just providing you with a larger view of what this chart is communicating to you and I with regard to the Dow out there. What else can Stevie share with you here? I don't think anything else. So I can give you the Apogee pivot points that came in this morning at 657. So just take a snapshot of these. Uh, just to describe what that is, Apogee is when the moon is the furthest from Earth during the cu current lunar cycle out there. And uh, interestingly enough, if you identify that or the perigee pivot point, which is when the uh, uh, moon is closest to Earth during the current lunar cycle out there, for reasons unbeknownst to me, although I do believe I know the reasons, I'm just not going to really share them because I can't prove them at all, uh, that these uh, mark um, very key levels, short term, but can't be longer term as well, but certainly short term with regard to what direction an instrument is likely traveling in. And so right now, if you take a look at the equity markets here, you can see both the NQ and the ES Mini are basically taking on, trading just above by a smidgen, those Apogee pivot points, 60, 20 and a quarter and 29, 39, 50 out there. The Dow is trading well below. It's apogee pivot point, 44,911. So we're going to also certainly take a look. We're going to take a look at anything else that you want out there. But I just grab a snapshot of these uh, charts out there and pay attention as price approaches those levels out there. So now I don't think there's anything else. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, nothing else really that I can share with you here. Now, I will say in the case of the Dow, the Dow negated its sell the D point top yesterday for its daily time frame. I've drawn in a new A to B equals CD pattern here. This does not match the one that we looked at, the longer term one. So this is a shorter term one that suggests that the Dow should get to 46, 282. Now you won't see it here, but you'll see it when we go take a look at my other charts. Yesterday triggered a Rhodesman indicator signal. That says if today's bar were to be a uh, bearish reversal candle, then we should see price pull back. And I'd say to, to the 44, 058, 44, 341. Right now, this is a dark cloud cover candle, but I don't know what it's gonna be at day's end. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer. 
the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So the yes, many and other currencies, the yuan, the pound, the euro, suggesting that the uh, uh, that the yes, many in terms of U.S. dollars should attack that uh, top of its daily profile, its all-time high, sixty fifty three and a quarter. We're looking at the intraday charts to see what the issues are. What is it that is stopping the move higher? And it's really pretty clear. I'll just open up the um, I'll open up the four hour chart out there. You'll see this very very clearly. So the real thorn in the side is uh, the price point of 60.25 and a quarter. And that's its four-hour TD9 count breakdown resistance level. It's been attacked one, two, this is the third time now uh, during this time frame. By the way, this bar here is going to close, I believe it's at noon or two, two o'clock. Two o'clock. So a close above 60.25.25 at 2 p.m. would likely indicate to you and I that that rally should continue. That's really what the... Um, what the spot VIX is also suggesting to you and I, we're not in an overbought condition in the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator. But it's this level here, 60.25 and a quarter, that is your thorn in the financial ointment, so to speak. And that's with regard to the ES Mini. Um, I can see some other short-term RMI signals out here, but the real key level is what we just took a look at. Let's go pop up the NQ charts out here and see what they're doing. Let's see if we can figure out where the stick in the mud is. It's trading up by 63 bucks right now, about three tenths of a percent. Uh, we know that the uh, key level of resistance out here is really 21.075, center of that uh, daily profile out there. That's the area where if this is more than a counter trend move for the NQ, price would close above. Now, in the case of the NQ, as I look to see what is it that's causing the problem out here for its advancement, the only thing that's DBCs at this moment in time is a two hour TD9 count top. So let's go take a look at it, make sure that that is what my eyes saw, and uh, I am wrong. Don't see a top out there for that at all. So uh, with regard to the NQ, let me take another quick peek out here. No 10 minute, now maybe there's an A to B equals CD pad, I'm sure that there is out here. Yeah, so here's your A to B, C to D. Uh, so price has, you know, in the very short term, some topping signals, but no key levels of support have broken there. That's what's going. So in the NQ, how do I sum this up? Hmm. Yeah, I don't have really a great summation for you inside the NQ out here. It'd have to be the daily oscillator and change line. 
So it really needs a price move above 29.71 uh, to suggest that we rally further out there. Uh, let's take a look at the Dow. The Dow is the one that is weak out here. The one, the Dow actually, as we went into that break, we said it could provide us with a daily topping signal out there. So remember, we looked at the monthly time frame chart. Daily is just noise. It's like if you trade a daily chart, you're looking at 10-minute and 30-minute charts out there. It's just a noise. So again, that longer term uh, ch chart patterns that we looked at, they're in effect out here, regardless of what we talk about here. Now, on the daily time frame, as an example, you've got a dark cloud cover at the moment. In order to maintain that dark cloud cover, price has to close halfway into yesterday's bar um, certainly it's at 44655 but you can do your actual calculation to figure out the exact same price point if price does close below that it does generate a uh, uh, well at least a bearish reversal candle at the moment dark cloud cover candle then uh, price is still trained above the top of its profile and its oscillator and change line. So its signal is more neutralized, but would also suggest, though, because we can see that we've had four consecutive days to the upside, one, one to four days to the downside. The price target, should we get a bearish reversal candle in the Dow Equity Future contract, would be down at the 44,260-ish level to 44. 342. So that's what's going on with regard to the Dow. Let's look at its intraday chart patterns out here. And here what we're looking for is anything on the bottom side of this. And you've got a 30-minute TD9 count bottom that will form in eight minutes, seven and a half minutes, if price closes below, which seems like the likely outcome, closes below 44,724. So watch that in another eight minutes. I probably won't be looking back out here. But that might also be another signal to assist the Dow in its move higher out there. Now, where price would be dealing with on a 30-minute time frame for the Dow equity future contract, its resistance levels are going to be at about 44,717, 44,771. You get above that, and you rally back up to its uh, early morning highs out there. So that's what's going on with regard to the Dow, the NQ. The ES Mini, maybe I ought to just do the Russell as well. So let's put up the Russell 2000 equity future contract. See what we have here. You've got the Russell that is trading down a total of um, about 15 points right now. That was the cash indice, just letting this fulfill itself. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, uh, it needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. We don't have that pattern here at this moment in time. Uh, price is also testing the top of its profile on a daily basis. So nothing wrong there. I don't see any kind of a topping signal. And this is, well, I don't really see a topping signal here on the five-hour chart. A TD9 count, there we go. TD9 count top on the four-hour chart. And if price doesn't hold the bottom of its profile, which so far it is holding, that being 24 3410. Then we can see a move back to the 2371 level out there. Uh, I don't see, uh, so the bottom signal is really on the 15 minute time frame chart for the Russell. So, what that tells you is that you need to watch today's low. And today's low out here, uh, this morning's low, 1045, is at 241980. If you close below that, you're headed to lower price. You've got the TD9 count bottom. Price is in a bullish structured 15 minute profile. Now, what price already did once it completed that pattern was it got all the way up to where it should have which was 2441.18 or 80 out there that was the top of that profile you're going to watch that again 2441.80 it close above that you get to the td9 count breakdown resistance at 2450.70 if you clear that you're off to the races to the upside that's of course looking at a 15 minute time frame chart take a snapshot of these screens if you want to understand other profiles and other resistance points to uh, be paying attention to um so that's what's going on there so why don't we go switch over and take a look at some requests that have come in because Stevie could surf these charts and do this you know, for hours on end. We won't do that because I want to take a look at what you want to take a look at, which is Square for Fletch inside the Tiger's Den. So Fletch, we take a look at Square on a daily time frame. Let's pull this back. TD9 count top that formed out here that is still in place. Trading session out here was on November 19th. That high is your key high. Uh, that is at uh, 93 bucks even, Stephen. The following day confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top. That's also at 93 bucks even, Stephen. So we've just given you the key level of resistance on a rally. Well, one key level of resistance. The second key level would be 94.12. Price has formed a new daily profile. You're trading below the green oscillator and change line. Tells us price has lost its momentum. And that would suggest a, uh, and it's also a bearish structured profile. You should see a move in square to 87.98. 
the bottom of that daily profile. Now, you may get below that, and the reason you might get below that is because you completed a square TD9 count top last week. This suggests that price should pull back to test support. In lieu of any new profiles that might form from this point forward, that price target would be 77.51. We don't go to 77.51 until we see 87.98 get broken. That's the bottom of that daily profile. Monthly chart looks good. You're trading about profile resistance. So it's really going to be the weekly and the daily that have your topping signals. This looks like it's going to be day number three to the downside. If Square is still in a bull market, let's pull over the daily dance steps out here. Um, you won't get more than a four-day move, consecutive-day move to the downside. Since the bottom that formed back here in August, we've seen one three-day, two three-day moves, four two-day moves, five two-day moves. Uh, so you're looking at uh, if this is going to bottom, I'd say that day three, I'd say that tomorrow or today would be it, today or tomorrow. And you can certainly go to fourth day out there. So that's what I see. We take a look at Square Flex. As always, thanks so much for your request. Have a terrific Tuesday and a, uh, and a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. And that's for everybody out there. My favorite holiday for sure. Uh, Steve Rhodes with TFN. We're going to come back, take a look at bonds, the TLT, Affirmed, SMCI, Natural Gas, UNG, and PAGS. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day, 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, John, inside the Tiger's Den, would like to take a look at bonds in the TLT. So the, the uh, 30-year Treasury formed a uh, what's referred to as Roach Mentum Indicator Bottom when it formed this bull sash candle on November 14th. And so you've got that bottom that's in place. The issue that it's dealing with here, it's trading into its sell zone. Very clear sell zone. We've been below the bottom of that bullish structure uh, daily profile for quite some time. The key level, the price must close above, John, to suggest this is more than a counter trend move, is 118.18. <coughs> it doesn't have to <coughs> get up to that level to tell us it's a failure and we're trading back below the bottom of its uh, daily profile. So that could say to you and I that we're headed back to test support in the 116 area out there. Um, is that what we're likely to do? The weekly time frame chart out here, and we're going to be rolling into March soon, I believe, um, is that we do have a TD9 count bottom signal. The thing is that TD9 count bottom signal is likely to not come to fruition unless we see the 30-year move uh, lower uh, by uh, Friday. It needs to close below 116.26. So you've got to see a further pullback in order to get a bobbing pattern on the weekly time frame chart out there. Not enough data, obviously, in the month of that to go to continuous contracts to take a look at all that data. So the most important thing, I think, for you to know is you do have a daily bottom pattern, but price not being able to take out that key resistance level of where a counter trend rally would come to an end out there. You also want to take a look at the TLT. So let's go switch over and take a look at that chart or set of charts out here. In the case of the TLT, uh, you didn't get a bottom, I mean, a to indicator bottom signal until it's gapped to the upside on November 19th. That was the bullish reversal candle. Price here is trading above the top of its uh, daily profile. So that's good. Um, but again, see the TLT, John, if we were going to use our decision making on the TLT, we could easily be making the wrong decision. Why? Because here this shows us that we had a profile change in trend yesterday. And that says long and strong to the upside. You can see the daily or the weekly TD9 count pattern. That's got the same issue we took a look at on the 30 year. That would need a close on Friday below a 9084 in the case of the TLT to give you a TD9 count bottom uh, pattern out there. So uh, the TLT is interesting to look at, but it's not the one that we should be making our trading decisions upon. It really should be, um, it really should be uh, the underlying instrument there, which uh, for the most part is a 30 year treasury. I hope that helped you out, John, with both those uh, uh, reviews out there. And as always, thanks for your request. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I will be doing the show tomorrow, so we'll be able to do all those happy things. Uh, let's take a look at a firm. This is for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, AFMD is the uh, ticker symbol. So we take a look at a firm out here. Let me open this up on the daily, see what we got. Yikes. Okie dokie. So... My guess is there's probably is an active A to B equals CD. Let's uh, draw on the A to B line out here. But it use the most conservative A to B pattern we can. I'm just going to move this over to the C point. The next high is high after that A to B point out there. So there would be your A to B equals CD pattern. We are not down to that level, which is about a buck seventy five or so. I'm, I'm just ballparking it, maybe buck sixty something like that. So Dan, on a daily basis, you know, price trading a new profile. That formed yesterday. Support 275. And that's strong support because the center and the bottom are the exact same price. So close below 275, affirmed is headed lower. Resistance is up at 318. If you close above resistance, you likely go test that prior uh, swing point from November the 14th out there. That's what the daily time frame shows us. Now let's see what the weekly is suggesting. Weekly is uh, not looking very good here. So on the weekly, on the weekly chart okay so the weekly is trading inside a swing point uh from october 27th volume there 2.6 million shares last week you moved into it with 1.2 
So you're trading inside that swing point with lighter volume, but we're still inside the swing point. I would say, Dan, the price is going to go. It doesn't have to, but as long as we remain below the level of uh, 374, this suggests at least to move back to the 223 area. That's coming from the weekly time frame chart. And on a monthly basis, in a case of a firm, bar number eight forming as we speak right now for its monthly time frame, that is the low of the pattern. So there's a possibility on Friday, you could get a uh, you get bar number eight of a TD9 count, depending on where it closes. It could be the low at the moment of this pattern. And that says you could get a bottom between this week and the next two out there. Well, if it's going to be this week, we'd see some bottoming signals, which we don't see. So I'd have to say more like the next two uh, at this moment in time. So I hope that helped you out with Affirmed. And as always, thanks so much for your request. Uh, Joe wants to take a look at SMCI. So let's pull that up on our screen out here. SMCI right now, yesterday ran into resistance, actually closed just above its TD9 count breakdown level at 38 bucks. So had a beautiful uh, wave number seven bottom, Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So, uh, so it had everything that we needed. Price got above the top of that profile, a profile change in trend. So it's dealing with that $38 even Steven resistance level. If price can close above that, um, then you're off to the races. Those races ought to take you up towards, wow. So if you can close above 36.89, so again, let's just go back to the $38 level. If you can close on a weekly basis above 38, you're likely going to go target 96.33. I like to hesitate when I say that, but that's what the weekly chart would be communicating to you and I. Um, there is an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So on a weekly basis, it does have a buy the D point. You can see how the oscillator and change line has acted as resistance ever since the week of uh, April the 5th out there. So that's going to be that key line of demarcation that price needs to close above. But again, we're dealing with that daily $38 number. So that's what we're going to use, not the 36.90 level out there. So that's what I see right now on SMCI. If you look at consecutive days up and down out here, so as this comes off of the bottom, if it is coming off of the bottom out there, you can see we had a nice uh, two, three bar rallies. Two uh, right now, one one bar move lower. Today is going to be perhaps that second one. So watch the dance steps out here for SMCI, Joe. That will assist you as well. That's an easy thing for you to just simply count uh, by yourself on on a, a chart or a pad of paper. Put those numbers in there. So hope that helps you out. Thanks for your request as well. We've got a request uh, from uh, Joe to look at natural gas and the UNG. So let's see if we can pull those charts up here. It was, here's natural gas. So we take a look at natural gas. Two days ago, confirmed a sell the D point up. Big old bearish engulfing candle out there. I thought this was trying to form a new profile. I want to look at a different chart and just see if it's uh, if that. Yeah, so there is a interesting. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch back and forth. So, so there's a new profile attempting to form. I think you've heard me say that I'm using my advanced Doppler tool on my black background charts. Why do I not use it on the white background charts? Because I don't have it for that. But here, if you take a look at the black background chart, so there's that sell the D point top. So you know that your resistance level out here, Joe, is 3.63. But right now, you've got a new bullish structure profile that's attempting to form. Your support level is 304, your center's at 337, and the top's at 363. You're looking for an entry. I would say a test of 3.37 and holding could be your entry point. Steve Roach with TFNN will finish looking at natural gas and the uh, UNG when we get back to this message. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Good natural gas. We looked at that new profile attempting to form. The question should be, what happens if that profile doesn't form at day's end? Well, if you look at the uh, uh, January contract out here, we see that yesterday was a, a lower high. We see that today is a lower high and a lower low out there. So that would then say, if the uh, $3 and I think it was 304, right? 304? Yeah, if the 304 level doesn't hold, then I'd say, and the profile doesn't form, then the price target, because you're looking for an entry area, would be at the 323 level. So to, to understand whether or not uh, the three, um, what was it, 304 level, I believe, was the bottom of that daily profile, what you'd see out there, if that's to be it, you'd see some type of short-term bottoming pattern form. Here's a 30-minute uh, time frame chart for the uh, January contract. You can see on that last 30-minute bar, the one at 1130, close both three dollars and 41 cents that's a td knockout breakout level i would say if in the next 17 minutes we close below three dollars and 41 cents that's a signal we're certainly headed lower that could just be to the 304 level but breaking that breakout break breakout area wouldn't be the uh, best of signals because you certainly wouldn't have a bottom signal that's for sure getting back to a breakout level holding can be a bottom signal. Now, if we look at the UNG, let's just simply go see what, we won't spend a lot of time here because really the data is going to be coming off of the um, the uh, a natural gas contract here. UNG, you can see, uh, you know, two uh, lower highs, two lower lows now. Uh, support out here would be the top of his profile, and that's at 1454. Below that would be 1405. Uh, as your price target out there. Now, in the case of the um, UNG, you see this does not show the sell the D point top. This never generated up at the high. This never generated a, uh, a key reversal bar. So again, if we were making our decisions only off the UNG versus the underlying instrument here, we would very likely be making a poor decision out there. So uh, thanks for that. Hope that in information provided with what you were looking for, Joe, and thanks for uh, sending an email. Brent wants to take a look at ticker symbol P-A-G-S out here. So let's pull that up on the screen, see what uh, this is showing us right now. Now, Brent is long at about the $7.50 uh, mark as a beautiful uh, Roach Mintum indicator bottom. That was confirmed with a bullish hammer candle just about four or five days ago. That was on the trading session of November the 20th. Now, Brent, what price is dealing with is your resistance zones from your profiles. And those are, this is an equally balanced profile. 
So you have really three resistance zones. One you closed above yesterday and our trade above today, 815. All right, so we're on to the next one. Well, we've tagged that next one. So far, tested and rejected, 830. And then above that would be 845. If you can close above 845, then you ought to move up to the 917 level. The weekly time frame chart uh, for PAGs does not have, this is a PAG Seguro Digital. Um, I won't tell you the Seguro stories. We could tell you lots. Um, if we take a look at uh, PAGs for a weekly time frame, it negated a TD9 count bottom. So no bottom signals that are out here, but if you could at least close above 839 and get back inside that profile and then above 845 in the daily time frame, that would then at least get us up towards 917, 996. Possible that you could form a TD9 count bottom between this, this month and the next two. This is in bar number eight right now. It looks like that, that, that bar is going to come to fruition out there. So longer term, okay, so it's a daily right now that's driving things for you. So that's what you're going to focus on, and you know what you need to see here, which is really close above the prior swing point. So even though we say 845, we'd be more comfortable with 855, another dime out there. Uh, if I look at a 30-minute time frame chart, you've got what, if anything? Road's meant to indicator top, with price trading with inside his profile, and that says it's got a buy zone between 811 and 815. So price ought to find support there. If it doesn't, well, then 756 would be open for a price target out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the uh, Seguros and uh, their digital ID. Uh, let's go take a look at the IWM. Hector wants to take a look at the monthly A to B equals CD pattern. Let's first uh, take a look at what the IWM charts are communicating to you and I. As mentioned uh, earlier, I believe in the show, the uh, daily time frame yesterday uh, for the, I well, I think we were looking at the Russell 2000 equity future contract. In the case of the IWM, we have a confirmed road Ro Ro indicator top. Yes, it was a a bearish shooting star candle. But what price did today was a test and rejected support. Happens to be the top of the profile. As long as price remains above 239.94, then uh, the signal is neutralized. That means the Rhodes Mintum indicator top signal is neutralized. Uh, but it needs to close above yesterday's high. Uh, that is your resistance level in order to make that move higher. Yesterday's high, 244.89, uh, 98. A weekly time frame chart, no topping signal out here. And a monthly time frame chart, you know, this is the issue. And the issue is price got back to its all-time high. That all-time high at 244.46 is also a uh, TD9 count breakdown level. So you got to see a close above that, Hector, in order to trigger what you refer to as a new A to B equals CD pattern of the upside. We're going to go over my other charts, and we can still draw that in. So if you give me a moment, we'll change screens out here, and then we'll get to the IWM. There we go. Let's get the IWM chart up here. This will be the monthly time frame chart that we're taking a look at. So you can see the larger A to B equals CD pattern. This one coming off the 2009 bottom. So we come off of that low. We make this top here in 2018, uh, the uh, COVID uh, basic top, if you will. And then we get the COVID low is our C point. The one to one price projection level is 234.82. This A to B equals CD pattern, Hector, will never go away. It's the longer term, larger picture of an A to B equals CD on the monthly time frame. So if price does close above 244.46, it would then set up a next price target of 270.266. I will draw in what I think that you would like me to draw in, which is an A to B equals CD pattern off of the 2020 low out there is the A point. The B point being that all time high. That's that swing point from November of 2021. And then our C point, where is the next lowest low? It looks like it's right here. So there's your C point, which was the, oops, the C point, which was the week of uh, October, by the month of October, 2023. That price projection would get you all the way up to 310.44. Maybe that is something that's going to come to fruition. Now, the monthly swing point had volume of 711 million shares. This month, we are up with 537. So it's going to be light in the loafers, uh, for sure, even if it does close above the 244.46 level. But those would be the A to B equals CD patterns. But first, you got to close above that all-time high, which is also a TD9 count breakdown level. And now it's also a daily Rhodes Mintum indicator topping pattern out there. So Hector and Patty, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. And thanks so much for writing in. Nicholas writes in, he'd like to take a look at the SMHs out here. So we know that the uh, Sox is a... Uh, is struggling, so too are the SMHs. So we're trading below. So price rallied into its oscillator and change line. It is red. We're trading below that. We're trading below its bullish structured profile. Odds favor a move lower. Well, the swing point that it's trading into, cursor please, 
is from the trading day of November 18th. Volume, 7.7 million shares. So far today, 2 million shares in a little over two hours of trading. So about 6 million. So we're moving into this swing point, what looks like lighter volume. Nonetheless, if you get a close below 242.17, Nicholas, you should go test that bottom. What is that bottom? That bottom is at 237.39. But more important, that bottom could be the C point of an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So that's what you certainly want to watch, that low, 237.39. On a weekly time frame, weekly time frame, we're trading with inside its profile levels out there. Not much really to add. Uh, price ran into resistance where it should have, the center of that bearish structure profile. TD9 count on the week, monthly time frame. Key level here to be watching is 235.43. A close below that would get us to 187.79. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. I was told I did an excellent review of the SMHs. Just nobody could follow along. So we got those charts back up on our screen for us. Nicholas, it's the swing point right here from the trading session of November 18th. That price is moving into. That's the low that you're watching, 237.39. Here on the weekly time frame, you can see we're trading with inside this uh, profile level out here. But you want to watch the daily time frame for its message. Again, if we were to close below the low from November 18th, that will trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Uh, and here on the monthly time frame, you're really watching the center of that 
bearish structured monthly profile. You close below 234, 235.43, you're likely going to target the 187.79 level. So that's what I see there. Sorry that I confused everybody. That was not the intention. Let's finish off the show, I believe, by taking an XPEV for GTE. His question is, was today a bottom? Absolutely not. Not that it couldn't be. Um, and, and I think the reason that he's asking, is this a bottom, is because in the weekly time frame chart, price has gotten back to its uh, oscillator and change line and held. That's 1126. So certainly a possibility. But there is an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. The volume on the swing put of November, November the 15th was 12 million shares. It was passed with 12.5 million shares. So it's got an A to B. It's got a road momentum indicator top. Let's draw in the A to B equals CD pattern that is confirmed to the downside. I'm just going to draw in this. I'm going to move the A to B line over to the C point. That C point is going to give you a price projection down at about the $10 level. Uh, so uh, is it possible that it's bottomed? Absolutely, because of the weekly oscillator and change line. Close below 11.26. It's price target, 979 out there. So that's what I see when I take it XPEV. What else can Stevie share with you in the next 15 minutes? I don't think very much out there. So uh, great show. Thanks uh, for each of the requests out there. Makes my job a lot easier. And then I give you the information that you're looking for. And as Tom would say, that's a beautiful thing. Folks, have a terrific Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific day.